Hi again, it is Tara from Taz Wows 12. That is my YouTube name, and you are on my channel watching this video. So, today I am actually doing a little review about the inflammable total cover um, foundation from L'Oreal Paris and this is number nine light sand um, I'm going to do a review on this and show you a little bit of today of what it is and I'm also going to do um, the Revlon Colour Stay one and this is our combination to oily skin 330 um, this is natural tan and that was that one and I'm going to just do a little review on both and tell you what I think. So let's get on with the video. Um, what I am going to show you is I did a little combination of both. I went out Saturday because my friend is leaving to work abroad and we went out for a night out like a girl to go down. And um, my skin was like it is now, which is not brilliant. Um, so what I did was I didn't want to totally use this. And I've already used this foundation on its own and I really, really like it. So I thought I wanted to just zoom it up a bit and put the total coverage with it. So what I'm going to do today is... I'm going to do half face. So this side I'm going to do with the foundation and this side I'm going to leave. And then you can have a look at what you think and we will go from there. Because I have got bad spots aside, I want to see if they cover them and I want to see what difference it makes to this side. So I'm going to do a combination of both. So I'm just going to do a little bit on my hand and then I'm going to buff it in with the Real Techniques brush this side and then we can have a look at the difference. So what I did is just take a few squirts of this on my hand like so and then take the other one, just get a good amount and squish that on your hand. And then you just take the brush and then you just put this round together like so. So you just get a good texture together. So I'm going to start with this side first and then we can compare at the end of what I think. I already primed my face just to let you know. So I blended the bit that was on my face, um, on my hand, onto my face. I'm just going to do the rest of this and just go over a little bit more of the little areas that I missed. So I'll just put some more on my hand and now I'm just going to do the top of my head now. The thing with this um, foundation, I find it that it's not for one to be a total coverage one. It's not like like proper cakey on your face. Like I have one that is really total coverage, and I feel. Like it is really cakey on my face, but I have mixed it with obviously the Revlon, but then that can be quite full coverage um, as well, because they're all quite blendable. You can obviously see the difference on my hand of what the foundation does. Obviously, that's the foundation, so it is quite good coverage to be honest for a L'Oreal one to be honest um, so now I'm just gonna let that set for a little while 
This feels just nice. I quite like it, to be honest. And when I used this on Saturday, I was really quite pleasant with what it had come out like. Like, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I think it makes a real difference. This side, there is red, there is blotches on my face. Obviously, I've not put anything on there as a primer. So, obviously, I've got quite red around my eyes. Like, the whole lot looks a bit nasty but this side I think it's done really quite well to be honest it's covered all of my head I don't look red around my eyes as much I it's covered really well on the spots and I'm really quite happy with these two foundations and I think they're really good to be honest because I have got an Estee Lauder. I love my Estee Lauder and my double wear one. And you probably all know what that is like. And I've used that in a few of my videos and I do love that for the full coverage. But for two that are basically shop brand ones, your drugstore brand, I think it's excellent. They go really well together. They're not like, they're not horrible like it feels really nice and if I put powder on that that would be even better like, I just generally think that is yeah it's not covered like it completely but I just put some colour correctors underneath but I think that's done pretty well for just putting foundation on my face you can obviously tell the difference this side looks so red this side looks nice and smooth and I do you know what I think these deserve a thumbs up and I'm really liking these yes they may be like 10 pounds each but put together they're about 20 quid but I my essay lauder one was about I think it was about 31 pound so you think two for the price of one basically I haven't used all my essay lauder I'm not going to use all this so at the end of the day I'm loving these products very good and I really like it. So I really hope that you like this video. Um, please tell me in the comments below if you're liking this, what you don't like about it, anything that you want to comment about this video that would be brilliant. Um, please you can you put a thumbs up to this video, that would be great, help me out and subscribe to my channel which is Taz Wales 12 like I said at the beginning of this film and subscribe to my channel that's even better because that helps me out as well and you can see a lot more videos like this with reviews on foundation eyeshadows looks anything you want you tell me and I will do it for you I will try my best to do it for you anyway so like I say all the every time I end a video thanks for watching you're brilliant who do watch me and who do subscribe to me and if you do subscribe to me thank you very much for subscribing because you will see a lot more reviews and a lot more loads of makeup ones so thanks for watching again and I will see you soon bye